Hey, this is Eric at Techno RV, and today I want to talk to you about the new line of Viair air compressors. In March of 2019, Viair rolled out an entire new line of air compressors specifically designed for certain classes of RVs, and they cover all of the classes. Uh, so it really comes down to uh, which one of these particular compressors meets your needs based on what your RV is. So let me just give you a quick, kind of a brief run through of each one of these air compressors. And keep in mind, I have detailed videos on each single one of these on the Techno RV YouTube channel. So you can always go check out uh, those videos to get detailed information on these models. Uh, so let's start uh, down here. This is the Viair 89 RVS. And uh, when you see the RVS, that means that it's the new model of Viair. The old model of Viair just ended in RV. So you need to be looking for RVS. That's the units that you want. And it's the only ones that we carry at Techno RV are these newer models. The 89 RVS is designed for class B uh, RVs. The uh, Viair 300 RVS is designed uh, for towables. The 400 RVS is designed uh, for class C motorhomes. And the 450 RVS is designed for class A motor homes. So uh, that's kind of the division uh, between the four new models. Now I want to break it down for you a little bit more because there is some gray area in there that uh, we may need to clear up for you. Uh, number one, if you're in a class B, there really is no gray area. This is the model that you want to get. Uh, it's small, it's compact, it comes with a 10-foot power cable and a 20-foot uh, air hose with a twist-on chuck. It has the uh, uh, PSI gauge built into the unit. It's really small, uh, and you're going to love that for your Class B. So the air hose is plenty long for a Class B. It's got the power to air up those tires. Again, there's really no gray area. If you're uh, Class B, van life, that type thing, the 89 is going to be great for you. Uh, the, uh, at this point, I want to skip all the way to the 450, and then we'll discuss these two models because this may be where we get into some, uh, a little bit of overlap here. If you're in a big Class A, uh, you know, th then you're going to want to get the, the 450 RVS. You got the big uh, 22.5s. Uh, you know, it's a big motor home, 36, 38, 40, 45 feet. Uh, you're going to want the uh, 450 RVS. It's going to have the power to do everything that you need. It's going to have 60 feet of air hose. Uh, it's going to have a, a uh, chuck extender that's going to help you to get to those inside duels. And it's also going to have a uh, twist on uh, chuck that will allow you to air up your tires uh, while you're kind of standing up so you don't have to be on your hands and knees the whole time. So Class A owners, those big Class A's, 450 RVS, uh, don't think any more about it. That's the one you need to get. So it's these two models right here that we probably need to spend a little bit more time with because uh, towables can range in size uh, drastically. I mean, you can, you can have a 10-footer a, a or you can have a 45-foot fifth wheel these days. And depending on what you have may push you from one of these models to another. Now, uh, the 300 RVS is, is the one that's designed for towables and the, the 400 is said to be uh, more for like class C motorhomes. 
So what's really the decision here? Because this 300 RVS, for the size of a towable tire, it will certainly put the air to them with no problem. Uh, and it's, it's a little bit smaller uh, just from uh, the, the compactness of it. So if you can do this one and you're in a towable, then that would be nice. The main thing to consider is that it comes with 30 feet of hose whereas the 400 comes with 60 feet of hose. So let's kind of talk about that a little bit. The, uh, the 300 comes with this 30 foot length of hose and it's got the air gauge built into it, okay? Uh, the inflator deflator gauge here. And that's what you get with the 300. So now let's say I'm in a, a 40 foot fifth wheel. Well, I might just want to go ahead and get the 400 at that point because with the 400, I'm getting 60 feet of air hose, just like you get with the 450 model. I'm also getting uh, the gas station style air gun with the gauge built into it that measures up to 160 PSI. I am getting the uh, 45 degree air chuck that uh, it's really helpful uh, if you have a dual tire. Now, if you're in a towable, that's not going to apply, but maybe you want to use this just to air up your tires. In addition, it's got the 40-inch hose with the air chuck attached to it. So this would attach to the uh, gun here, and then this would twist on to your valve stem, and now I can stand up and air up my tires. That's what you get with the 400 model. So again, if you've got a larger towable, even though the 300 is uh, designed for towables, for me, if I've got a longer towable, then I'm probably gonna go ahead and get the 400 model. Uh, if I've got a smaller towable, uh, and the, you know, the 30 foot of air hose uh, will be just fine in all scenarios, then, uh, then the 300 RVS will be just fine. So that's kind of the brief overview of, of all of the new RVS by air models here and kind of how you might go through making the decision on which model is right for you. Again, I've got detailed videos of each one of these you can go check out and, uh, we sell all of these models at technorv.com. So when you get ready to go buy one, go there. If you learn something, like the video. If you've got questions, put them in the comments. Also at technorv.com, you can email us there. You can chat with us. And uh, we've got a phone number on our website if you've got more questions.